Hello from Church at Briargate. This is Pastor Scott. Uh, we had a great service last week, and uh, we got a bunch of good feedback. So I'm going to share some of that with you and kind of some more information as we move forward. Just to remind you, we will be recording the Wednesday night services, and we'll be playing those the same way. It'll be a live feed, and then you can go back later and look at it if you want to that way. This Sunday coming up, we will have service again, one Sunday service at 10 o'clock, and you can come online and view that. And when we send out this message to you, there'll be a link in this message that will include a Facebook link and a YouTube link to our channels. But you can go to either one of those and just look for Church at Browergate, and it'll show you that. And you can watch online live. We had a lot of response last week, and it was pretty exciting. Many of you said that you definitely wanted more of me in every video. Um, or something like that. I don't know exactly how that came out, but uh, we did have a good feedback to the worship. I did want to mention something to you. If you're listening to the worship and you're listening to it on your uh, mo mobile device, uh, iPad, something like that, then it, the, it will sound tinny. Uh, it doesn't have the, the richness of something. The better your speakers, the better your amps, the better the sound, because we are definitely mixing this so that it will sound very good where you're hearing it. Uh, something else to think about, this week we're going to change a little bit for the, for the sermon part. We're not going to be showing the screen in the sermon, so you won't be having the, the scriptures along with and the notes along with uh, during the message. A couple things that you can do is, one, not care about that. Uh, two, you can also go on to YouVersion. We've talked about this a lot of times in the service. You can send the app, we'll send a link to that with this uh, email also. But you can go to Version, and when you put in our church, Church at Briargate, it will bring up all of the scriptures, all of the notes, and everything that's going on there, and you can follow along that way. If not, you may even have a third option, which is to get out one of those old-timey paper Bibles and uh, follow along on actual paper. So, uh, we definitely need your email. We talked about that last week. We need your email. Um, cell phone would be good, too. We may be sending messages out via text, so we'll make sure that we have all of your information because that's how we're going to get in contact with you. Now, along those lines, talk to people in the church. Think about who sits around you normally in the services and, and think to yourself, I wonder if the church has their email and maybe you call them and, and ask them if, if they are getting this email from the church. If not, encourage them to give us their email address because we definitely want to stay connected with them through that. Something else is we definitely want you to continue to give us feedback, anything about the sound, about the visual, um, about the length of the sermon. We probably will only take feedback that says you want it longer, uh, just to keep you focused on the reality of what my heart says. Uh, we also want to encourage you, there's, yes, we are canceling a lot of things at the, at the church. We're not doing a lot of things until this whole COVID thing changes. But we are planning on having an Easter egg a hunt Easter egg celebration. Now, if we cannot do that because of limitations of crowd size, we do have a plan for that. It's going to be like a drive-through um, Easter egg event where your kids will get candy and eggs and things like that. So we need candy uh, donated. So come up here during the week, do donate the candy, maybe call somebody at the office, somebody besides me, and have them come get the candy from you. And uh, we'll, we'll make sure that it gets here and gets as part of the Easter egg hunt involved with this. One last thing. Yes, you can give financially online. You can do that through our website. We have a giving portal, a lot of different things. If you get confused about this and you don't know for sure how to do it, call the office and talk to them about this. Go to the website and look at it. And uh, we will walk you through the process of registering for online giving so that you can give straight either through your bank to Church of Briargate's bank. I know some people do a, like an automatic check send. There's a lot of ways to do it. So just call the church, talk to us about it, and we can help you uh, make sure you're tithing and giving and maybe even double your giving if that's what you would like to do. We can help you. We can help you with that. Okay, so I think that's about it. Call the church if you have any questions. This is also another opportunity as we're having these services like this. Invite your neighbors, invite your friends, coworkers. You're needing to have communi community anyway and connection anyway. Use this as an opportunity. Invite that next door neighbor that you've been thinking about inviting to the church. Just invite them to your living room. Tell them you'll feed them some snacks if they'll watch uh, the service online with you. It may be a great opportunity to connect with them. Be praying for everybody. Be praying for our country. 
be praying for specifically the older people in our church. We are connecting with them, trying to make sure that they're okay. But uh, just be praying, asking God to be in charge, because we know ultimately that's, that's the biggest, most important thing, is that God be in charge. Okay, have a great rest of your week, and we will hopefully see that you're connected with us online Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. See you then.